U14 OSFL football from Laurier Stadium. The Waterloo Junior Warriors playing on home field in front of the home crowd on Saturday afternoon. The Warriors would host the Sarnia Sturgeons. Jumping into the action, it's a great start for the Warriors on defense. It's a great track down from Colson Hanfield. He locks down the runner and takes him down in the backfield. And the Warriors defense would keep the pressure up. You're on third down and have an interception. Gavin Brokenshire picks it off in the middle and Gavin turns on the Jets. Gavin's moving, but the Sturgeons take him down just inside their own 25. The Sturgeons defense would turn the ball over, however, and later in the quarter, here they are back on offense. It's a good run from Mateo Le Patron. He's good for a Sturgeons first down, and Sarnia move over half. Late in the first quarter, now the Sturgeons deep downfield looking to capitalize. Here they are on second down. It's a run to the left sideline. Xavier Pregelge locks down the runner and takes him to the dirt, forcing a third down. The teams would switch sides, and it's a field goal attempt from the Sturgeons. Kai Gall nails it through the uprights. So it's 3-0 Sturgeons at the start of the second quarter. The Warriors back with the ball now, but keep your head up, Waterloo. Evan Bowers flattens his man in the middle, and the Sturgeons will turn the ball over. The Sturgeons with the ball now, but look out for the line speed from the Warriors. Isaac Alexander tracks down the runner and takes him down for a big loss on third. Late in the quarter, now the Sturgeons back with the ball, and it's a great spiral from Kai Gull. He spots out Philip Olsen in the middle, and Philip snags it for first down. And off that play, Sarnia would convert. Kai Gull launches a fadeaway pass downfield. Ryland Smith is in there for the touchdown. That's the first TD of the game, and it's 9-0 Sturgeons. Kai Gall would add another field goal before the half, and it's 12-0 Sturgeons heading to the break. The Warriors receiving the kickoff, and it's some good work from Johnny Bertoya. He receives well and starts downfield. Johnny breaks a couple tackles before being taken down at the Sturgeons 50-yard line. The Warriors needing to make something happen, but it's more from the Sturgeons on D. Carson Dunn finds the interception, and the Sturgeons take the ball back once again. The Sturgeons offense back in the picture, and they wouldn't let the chance go to waste. It's a pitch up for Philip Olsen. He picks up speed and straddles the far sideline, and Phillip's in there! So it's 19-0 Sturgeons. The Warriors still battling hard, but the Sarnia defense was active today, and they'd find another pick. Owen Parco shuts down the Warriors' offense, and the Sturgeons look to close this one out. In the fourth quarter, now the Warriors still looking to get on the board here on fourth down. Philip Olsen breaks the O-line and takes out the rudder, ending the chance for Waterloo. And with one more touchdown from Mateo Lapatrone, that would be all she wrote in this one. So a good battle at Laurier Stadium, but in the end, it's the Sarnia Sturgeons defense putting up the wall and shutting out the Warriors. This one ending with a final score of 27-0 on Saturday afternoon.